Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today, we're going to be looking at my most downloaded items from the Sims 4 gallery. I saw Delugracy do this a little while ago and I'll link her video down below. It looked like a lot of fun because the game has been out now for what, eight years. So I got eight years of things that have been up. A lot of the most downloaded stuff is super old. So it's going to be a trip down memory lane. Now, I guess first thing we got to do is keep in mind, I actually have two gallery names. I'm currently James Turner YT. So if you want to find any of my new stuff that I've built in the last like two years, it'll be James Turner YT. If you want to find my oldest stuff, we actually have to go to the gallery. Yeah, account ID, enter the Sim Supply because I was formerly known as the Sim Supply. This is me here, the Sim Supply, this logo. Uh, you can see the downloads and followers. So you notice this account, let's view my catalog. And let's go ahead and go most popular. All right, first up, we got the burger joint, uh, which this says dine out. So I think I had originally built this before dine out came out. This version is from 2016, August. And we've got a whopping 153,000 downloads, which is my most downloaded thing over both accounts, which is pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Let's have a look. Actually, first up, we gotta, we gotta read the descriptions because some of these could be cringe. Want to grab a quick bite to eat? Visit the burger joint. Okay, that's not cringe, that's okay. <laughs> so I literally built this six years ago, which is, I don't know, it, 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 it's bizarre, isn't it? There's been that amount of time in this one game. Uh, overall, I mean, the aesthetics of this build, I mean, I still really like this. I think this looks great. I might even still use it to this day because I was thinking of doing a new Dine Out Let's Play uh, with the Dine Out Reloaded mod because that makes restaurants a lot of fun and actually work. So this could actually be really good. Also, I do like the way I've done the roof because this is actually a really common thing. Not so much in new modern uh, fast food restaurants, but in the older ones when they had like the mansard style roofing, they'd go up like this and then actually drop down and they would have like the AC and the chimneys and all that kind of stuff inside that bit so you don't see it from street level. So that's surprisingly kind of accurate. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. So here's the build, which I think, oh, this, I mean, this is pretty cool. I feel like this, we, maybe we do have to do dine out again. This just kind of makes me really want to do dine out. So we've got uh, the waiter station there, got a couple of registers up this way, the host desk right there. And then obviously we've got the main, the main kitchen back through here, with the chef station there. Uh, and then like this is a kind of like the staff area if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you'd come through this door, head into the staff area, little break room. And we've got public bathrooms over this side, plenty of seating all through the restaurant. I mean, this is, you know what? I'm very happy that this is my most downloaded because I think it's great. This is still really good and I really like this. And I don't think there's anything I'd even change about this. There doesn't, there's not really anything that needs to be changed. I mean, it could be fun to add more things or add new items that we've gotten from new packs, for example. But yeah, that's the most downloaded. Let's have a look at what number two is. All right, this is, yeah, this kind of makes sense. This is one of my very early builds. You can see the 11th of April, 2015. Hey, that's Deli's birthday. Oh wait, no, hang on. No, this is American date. It's the 4th of November, isn't it? Never mind. Sorry, Deli. It's not your birthday. Anyway, 2015. Oh no, this description. Oh, this, this description's cringe, guys. Does your family just need more space? Then this is the place. Hashtag poet and I didn't know it. Oh. Hi everyone, James is cool. Please look at my builds. I worked really hard and they're quite bay. Look, I wouldn't normally do this, but you ask so loudly. Yeah, you know what? These are pretty nice. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right, estate home. Now I know this one's gonna be rough because honestly, looking from the outside, it is a lot less detailed than the last build. I mean, there's a lot of nice landscaping. Really like the landscaping actually, but I think the detail of the outside is a lot more rough than the last build we just looked at. You know, the walls are very plain. Even the roof is plain. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, why I used so few like textures. Although this is quite nice. You know what? That's actually pretty impressive. This is before we even had platforms. So this is just a piece of foundation that I put there. Pretty nice. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. A uh, nice pool area. Uh, overall, I mean, the house is big. It's got enough space. Uh, this roof here is a little strange how this roof goes under that one and this one's <laughs> not ideal. But yeah, when working with diagonals, it's pretty difficult. All right, let's have a look inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we, I'm pretty sure, didn't we do a video on this not too long ago and I like changed this room into a regular room because this again is before platforms existed. So you can see this is not a room. It's got all this like blue lighting, which means it's technically outside um, in terms of what the game thinks it is. So that's why it kind of got like a blue lighting. It might have been in Dream Home Decorator we came in here and did this, but I mean, look, overall the actual like, I guess layout 
is pretty interesting because of the diagonal. Uh, I don't think it makes a lot of sense though, because if you're in this room and want to go to the kitchen, you have to walk all the way down here, come all the way around just to get here. Not ideal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, not the best, but it's got plenty of room and I feel like it would be easy to edit this house into something else. Upstairs we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five bedrooms, pretty good. Two bathrooms upstairs and another bathroom downstairs. I mean, that's pretty good. Five bed, three bath, not too bad. Oh yeah, this here, these windows. I wanted this so bad to be a balcony, but I couldn't do it because to this day, since 2014, you know what? Before the game came out, I went to EA's offices. They had an event. They had a Sims camp event that we could play The Sims 4 before it came out in 2014. And I found a bug in build mode and I told them in person there at that event, I was like, hey, there's this bug. It's really annoying. Do you think you can fix it? And they're like, they they looked at it and then they like called someone else over. Someone else came and looked at my computer and they're like, hmm. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and, and have a look about it, have a look at it. And then to this day, it still hasn't been fixed. So <laughs> the bug I'm talking about is if this was a fence instead of a wall, the roof just comes in. I'm sure if you've done any amount of building in The Sims 4, you've probably run into this issue where if you have a fence completing a room, and by that, I mean, if one of the walls of an interior room is a fence and then the other side is an interior room, roofs will just clip inside of it. They'll just come in. The only way to stop it happening, if you still want that roof there, is it to be a wall. It has to be a wall. Not a half wall either. You know, that would have been a nice workaround when they added half walls if that fixed it, but it didn't. Um, so yeah, in this build, I clearly had that problem and I was like, okay, I'll just do windows because that's as good as I can do in this situation. But look, what I would do probably in this day and age is, we've got more roof options now than we did back then too, is I'd probably make the roof shorter, drag the eave in. You can see that how the roof clips all through here. I just make it shorter and I drag the even. Let's um put the wall here so we can see. So you can see so this one's clipping in, but we can if we hold down shift, we can just drag this side in. Then it's not clipping anymore. So there's a there's ways around it, but I think back when I built this, I didn't really know how to do all that. Because again, this is really early on in Sims 4. But yeah, overall, you know, pretty good house. Uh could use a bit more work though. Alright, number three, modernized townhouse. What does that even mean? It's a town, I guess it's a townhouse that was modernized. I mean, what it really means is I just needed to come up with a name. <laughs> so this was built the 3rd of February, 2016, way before Tiny Living existed. I was ahead of the game. I mean, look at this, look at this thing, it's cute. You know, that's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of like this. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I like the aesthetic of it. It's a little bit of fun. Uh, so we, oh, I was gonna say, is that the main door? No, we have the door here, that's okay. The outside, I quite like that. Obviously it's meant to be on a smaller lot than this, so <laughs> not gonna worry about that. Let's have a look inside. So, oh yeah, I'm. you know what? I. Oh, wow. Hey, I saw a YouTube short that gave this tip just recently. There's like a lot of YouTube shorts popping up now that have like Sims 4 tips and tricks, which are awesome. They're actually really, really helpful. And one of them was like, hey, if you got this like one by one cutout, you could put a dining table in there, put some things on the table and then have the chairs over here. <laughs> I was ahead of the curve. I did this back in 2016. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty nice overall though. I actually quite like this little room and I remember doing this build actually. Because I remember, I think the thumbnail, I took it from... It was like a thumbnail like this, didn't I? I think it was like this. I don't know. Let me let me Google it. Oh no, no, no. I was wrong. I was thinking of a different video. Uh, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, I don't remember taking those thumbnail shots. But yeah, anyway. Uh, no railing on the stairs, but look, this is probably not a house for kids to live in, so that's fine. Little computer set up there. Upstairs, loft bedroom. That's actually kind of nice. I actually really like that. And it's definitely room if you wanted to expand, add some stuff there quite easily. It's pretty basic though. Pretty simple furnishing, but I quite like the architecture of this build. That's number three most downloaded lot. This is actually really cool. All right. Oh, four more growth. This one, when was this? The 4th of September, which is that the launch date of Sims 4? No. Okay. Very close. 2nd of September, 2014. However, I think in Australia, it might have come out on the 4th of September. So I think that's, I, this was release day, but in Australia. Uh, so this is, I guess the first build I did once I had the game at my house. Cause I did some builds before it came out, which are on the gallery as well, but this is the first one I did at home. Four more Grove, a cozy family home for two parents and two children. Very normal description. You know what? For a first build, well, one of my first builds, this is pretty cool. This still looks kind of cool. I mean, I was even using the curved balconies because obviously that was a brand new feature for Sims 4 that we'd never had before, uh, which is awesome. So I'm using that. And overall, I mean, you know what? It kind of kind of falls off in the, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> we didn't have pools, so I just did like a fountain moat. Like, what is this? I don't know. Yeah, the, the, look, the back of the house is actually not as good. I'm going to be honest. The front, I actually quite like that. I think it's got a lot of potential. I don't know what the inside looks like, though. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. Okay. You know what? For some reason, I was really into these green chairs and these red stools. Have you noticed the past few houses? Like, I had these chairs and they, I don't know. Is it... I don't know why I was into that. I guess that was a thing. We kind of got a clash going on here. We got these weird like modern chairs and then this very traditional styled home. Uh, also, <laughs> look how high these shelves are. What? Why did I put spices? There's an open cookie jar on the top shelf. I mean, to be fair, that's probably the best place to put cookies so you don't just grab them. But why is it open? And why? <laughs> look how high up it is. You know, a sim is about, uh, hang on, let's have a look. You know, a sim is probably about this tall, maybe about the height of a fridge. Uh, and then the shelf is all the way up there. <laughs> okay. I don't think I quite understood uh, maybe the scale or the reasoning behind stuff yet. I think I was just having, oh, <gasps> Jerry. I think I was just having fun with the builds. <laughs> Why is there a pile of sporting goods in the home office and a backpack as well? It's a bit random, really. It's also very beige in here, too. We've got also a lot of bookcases. We've got two there and another one here. Anyway, let's see what upstairs is like. Okay, a little like little TV area there. That's quite nice. Ooh, I was having fun with the counters because that was a new thing you could do as well, those diagonal counters. Wow, a lot of TV area. What is going on? I'm loving TVs in this house. Two chairs here, TV there, TV over there, another one downstairs. <laughs> uh, this bedroom's actually quite nice. I quite like that. that. That actually turned out quite well. And then we've got a main bedroom here, ensuite bathroom. Pretty good. Look, it's a little funny. This feels a little funny. I was also clearly having fun with the tall walls downstairs and then smaller ones upstairs. But there you go. That is uh, the fourth most downloaded build. All right, there's a lot of builds to look at here, but we're going to go... This is going to be the last one we look at here on the Sim Supply, then we'll go over to my current one. This one's actually really cool. Lake House 2016. Didn't have terrain tools, didn't have any of that. This is just me building with uh, the pool tool or maybe the fountain tool. Uh, and I was like, I want to build a house on a lake. I want this to look like it's on a lake. I want to have a little beach. It's going to be fun. Uh, ever wanted to live on a lake? Now you can. Well, now you can actually do that in Sims 4. Like, actually. Uh, 86,000 downloads, though. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna need a bigger lot. All right. This is actually really cool. I actually love all the trees. I mean, this would probably fit pretty well in, like, Granite Falls or something. Maybe even Copperdale now it might fit quite well in. Not Copperdale, sorry. What am I saying? Moonwood Mill. Uh, obviously, the lot's probably a bit too big, because I think, yeah, this is definitely a 64 by 64. But I don't think the Moonwood Mill lot is that big. Is it a 50 by 50, maybe? Anyway, so here's this house, Lake House. It is a tiny home before tiny homes existed once again. Was that, again, we have this nice beach area. I don't believe, this is not a pool, is it? No, it's not a pool, so you can't even swim in it. <laughs> it's just for looks, purely for looks. And you, I believe, walk around the back to get to the house. Oh yeah, so you go on this pathway here. Oh yeah, we go to nighttime. Check this out. Isn't that nice? Look at this. So to get to the house, you sort of go through this little pathway through the forest. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to daytime so we can actually appreciate Look at all this. I remember spending ages placing all these items. Maybe not so much there, but all this grass and stuff around the edge. And then we have this little bridge, which is just not part of the, the fountain. And cross over into the house, which the house itself, also on a diagonal, which makes it complicated. Uh, so it's quite interesting in that sense, but also I think it looks pretty cool. We also have this interesting design of the roof where there's just a big gap in it. I think I remember thinking that was really cool. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I guess it just looked cool, but there you go. And then inside we've got a very odd layout. Because it's on a diagonal, we couldn't- I don't think we could do a straight wall across, could we? I don't think it would line up is the problem. Yeah, the way that the size of this is built, you can't do a straight diagonal wall across there. I think I could do it there, but then I think the bedroom was too big, and if I went one further back, it was too small. It was kind of awkward, I remember. I remember doing that. Anyway, let's jump into, the, oops, jump into this mode so we can sort of appreciate it. Interesting color choices. You know what? Probably maybe would have chosen some different colors this day, but the layout itself, I think, is functional. Albeit the computer is in a little bit of an awkward position. Probably would have been better somewhere else, maybe in this corner. Like I probably maybe now would have gotten rid of that plant or swapped the plant and this and maybe put the computer over this side, I think makes more sense. Also now, again, this is before tiny living. So with tiny living, we probably could have got rid of that, had a smaller TV unit. Um, and then we wouldn't need a bookshelf as well because that would be included here. 
So yeah, it's before all that. So you know, we got we got to keep that in mind. Also, this is really annoying me that this is like glitching through the wall. I'm not quite sure why I shoved it so far in that corner. It doesn't need to be that far back. It could just be there. It'd be fine. <laughs> uh, nice little bathroom, all functional, and a little bedroom with an interesting diagonal corner that I could put a light in. So, you know, it's pretty cool, I think. But I think, you know, the more impressive thing about this lot is everything around it. <laughs> and also that this was built before we could actually use pond tool or any of that. So, or terrain tools as well. So a little bit of fun. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over to James Turner YT, my current gallery name. If you want any of my new builds, they're all available here. My most downloaded, on this account, which I'm not surprised by, is my Art Deco High School, uh, because I built that pretty much as high school years came out. So I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it was ready when the game came out. So you could download it day one and the default high school was pretty sad. So I think this was a school a lot of people just used to put in their game to replace the default one. 41,000 downloads, pretty impressive, but nowhere near as much as my other account. Uh, I'm not gonna really read this description because it's kind of just explaining the lot which we don't really need to do. Now, I know if you've been watching my videos currently, you've seen a lot of this high school because we've, we've done a Let's Play in it. But if you haven't, I'll give you a quick look. So here it is. This is obviously normally placed in Copperdale. But yeah, I had a lot of fun building this. We've got the new curved walls going on here, curved windows. This terrain is actually glitched out. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, there is supposed to be stairs there. I think I must have just glitched out with move objects or something when I placed it. And then around the back, we've got this huge curved rooms here on either side as well. I had so much fun building this actually. It was a lot of fun designing the actual school, the building itself, even before, you know, furnishing it or anything like that. Just the shape of the building was a lot of fun. At the back, we got a basketball gym. We also have a swim uh, center there. So we'll just go down here. You can see we have, hey, where are my basketball hoops? I don't know, I think some, st some stuff is missing for some reason. Oh, you know what? I think I took them out because this is base game plus high school year compatible. Uh, so you don't need any other packs. You only need those two. So I think I took them out. Anyway, you can put them in here. Uh, and we've got some bleachers there. And here over here is our cafeteria in this area. Nice curved wall lighting coming through that glass ceiling there as well. Then we've got the principal's office, a little gym. We have bathroom there. This is just a teacher's lounge. Classroom one, classroom two. And then we have like decorative uh, sick bay over there, little auditorium there as well. We also have a library and then upstairs is purely decorative because if I furnish all this, the lot would be really laggy. Also, I didn't want when we're playing the game Sims to autonomously be wandering around and be really far away. So I left that empty. Having said that, I did furnish these areas, but I have found while playing it, and we've done a lot of play testing this in the actual game, they don't really go over here, so it's not a problem. But yeah, if you want to see more of this, I do have a whole build video on this. And actually, I've got build videos on all of these houses. Uh, but specifically, this one is pretty cool, and if you want to see more about it, I go a lot more in depth in those videos. And my next most popular one also was a high school years build, which again, I think because it came out right when the pack came out and it's like a drop-in replacement for the thrift store. And obviously it's a lot more detailed than the default thrift store. Like it just has a lot more stuff. Like it's just way more packed in and probably less playable to be honest. It's, I don't think it works as well as the default one just because there is so much stuff and it's all crammed in and kind of funny. Um, but I really like the look of it. So I had fun building it. Curved walls and bold colors in an old revived Art Deco building. Let's check it out. So again, using a lot of the curved walls, uh, the new feature in high school years, or at least in that game update, um, and a lot of the new architectural features like the spandrels and, um, not spandrels, the freezers, floor trims, fences, decorative uh, roof pieces, all that kind of stuff, uh, just to really drive home this Art Deco building. And then inside I had a lot of fun actually furnishing the thrift store section of this. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to do, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't really work very well in gameplay, I found. Um, a lot of Sims hang out right here, which is kind of awkward because it's right in the doorway. They don't really, like they do go get bubble tea, obviously, but no one really browses in this area. Sometimes they do. It's not great. Sometimes Sims do hang out up here in the like sort of dance practice room. But yeah, it's a little awkward, but I think the actual look and aesthetic of this place, I love. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to continue to use it, but functionally for gameplay, probably not the best build. <laughs> it works, but you know, not the best. But yeah, I really like this one. I think that was a lot of fun. This is the last one we're going to look at today because we've looked at a bunch. But if you're interested in seeing more of this, I would actually kind of be interested in doing my least downloaded things from the gallery because that would probably be funnier. <laughs> so this is the rundown fixer upper. 
This is actually really cool. This is so much fun to build. So, so much fun. So we've got three houses, two of which are completely fake, and I'll show you in a minute. Three houses on one block, two are decorative, one is yours to fix up and renovate. Why not buy the neighbors and expand your house while you're at it? I don't know, this is just a really fun storytelling build, and we played this in my Dream Home Decorator Let's Play. This was our Let's Play, you know, and it was so much fun building this lot and playing in it and playing that story. Now I've placed it in the actual lot that I designed it for because I think it works really well with the scenery as well and everything here. So here it is. Can you tell which is the real house? That's pretty cool, right? So these two here are just big pieces. They're just big decorative items, this one and this one. These here are actual rooms, they're little garages, but I put like cars in them. Yeah, so those are purely decorative. And then this one over here I built to look exactly the same as those guys. Uh, so that you can move in here. Everything's kind of gross. The carpet's dirty, the walls are dirty, everything's old. You do get a basic kitchen and a basic bathroom, but there's no bed or anything like that, so you have to sort that out yourself. Um, and this is so much fun. This is so much fun. I love this. Uh, and building it was fun. Playing it was fun. This is all around a good time. Also, this alleyway I did as well with all this junk in it, which is <laughs> nice little added detail. But yeah, I guess that's probably gonna do us. That is my most downloaded items from the Sims 4 gallery. Thanks to Ligracy for the idea, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I am kind of interested to do my least downloaded items or possibly maybe like my largest items, like maybe the biggest builds I've ever done or we could do, I don't know, the smallest builds or something. Now, I don't want to do a billion videos on this because I think it'll get repetitive very quickly but I definitely think the least downloaded could also be a lot of fun <laughs> to see. See which ones really flopped and which ones people really disliked. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below and have an awesome day.